Channel 9 in Denver. This is 9 News, Colorado's news leader, with Ward Lucas, Sylvia Jennings, Amy Haston, and Tom Green. 9 News, number one in Colorado. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Denver school bus drivers using and possibly selling drugs. Those allegations have shocked a lot of people. Denver police say they don't think the problem is widespread, but their undercover investigation was stopped. Kim Christensen has more from the newsroom. Kim, why did that investigation stop, and how long did it last? Well, Sylvia and Ward, it really didn't last very long. It only lasted a couple of months. Unfortunately, the undercover officers were identified, and the investigation was then called off. The allegations of drug use only involve a few former bus drivers, but there is concern that these cases aren't isolated. Police are discussing what information they did obtain from their investigation with school administrators. More than 400 bus drivers work for the Denver Public Schools. Some are part-time, some full-time. Concern about the drivers and possible drug use first arose about a year ago. That's when Denver police arrested three people for cocaine possession. All were Denver bus drivers. A fourth person was also arrested a few months ago. She was a former Denver bus driver. All were fired by the school district, and it was those cases that led to the undercover investigation. We have a lot of, of lives that uh, is in our care, and we have to provide the kind of safety that we need. And uh, we'll clean it up as fast as we can. While working undercover, police did make contact and buy some marijuana from three drivers. But no charges have been filed yet. Officers were hoping to get more evidence, but then their cover was blown. School administration admits there should be a strict drug policy. Some of those people are part-time people. Uh, some of them we hire, and they're not there very long. Uh, but we need some kind of pre-screening and some kind of guarantee other than just the driver's license. Denver School Superintendent Evie Dennis says, ironically, just this last week, she began looking over a newly proposed drug policy. She says administrators have talked about random drug testing in the school system and pre-employment testing. She says she knows this is all a legal nightmare, but she does hope to present a drug policy to the school board soon. Dr. Dennis also says she'll be spending her spring vacation looking into all of these allegations and determining how serious this problem is. Warden Sylvia. All right. Thank you very much, Kim. Allegations of police brutality in Alamosa. Two teenagers and their mothers are accusing three officers of using excessive force during separate arrests last week. One teenager were, was arrested for shoplifting, the other for fighting. They were taken to the police department where, the teens allege, officers threw them to the floor and beat them up. Police Chief Ray Orton says a solution like Mace was used to subdue one of the teens. And he says the officers received cuts and bruises trying to handcuff the teenagers. The department has launched an internal investigation to see if criminal charges should be filed. Denver's largest homeless shelter is shutting down, and residents will have to live in temporary housing. The Volunteers of America York Street shelter has 160 beds. It's been ordered to close April 1st because of PCB contamination. VOA wants to relocate to a building at West Alameda Avenue in South Santa Fe, but it will take months to get federal approval for the site. There are also potential environmental problems at the new site. Groundwater under the building is contaminated. Over the next two weeks, residents at the York Street shelter will be relocated to other shelters and nursing homes for the time being. It's difficult for many family farms to stay in business these days, but it's especially tough in the dairy business. Recently, dairy farmers suffered a 25% cut in the amount of money they get from milk production. Smaller dairies are calling it quits. Even the larger ones are barely staying afloat right now. Our Western Slope photographer, Kenny Hamilton, takes us to the Clymer Dairy in Grand Junction. My family moved here in 1921 in this house, and uh, we've been here in the dairy operation since that time. We basically cut out three jobs, and uh, the reason for that was because of the decrease in the price of milk. Now this man has to milk by himself instead of having another man in here. For every 100 pounds of milk we have, uh, we, today we receive $11, approximately $11.50. A year ago now, we were receiving about $14.50 a hundredweight. And the amount of milk that we sell 
daily. That costs us about $600 per day, which equates to over $200,000 in a year. There's a lot of little guys that have a large land payment and they're not gonna make it. They're gonna be gone. We can't operate under free enterprise uh, because it, we have a perishable product and we have to move it. We milk it today, we've got to move it today. We can't dicker on our price. We can't say, well, we're not gonna sell it if we don't get $14. It's gotta go. Now, I'm optimistic. Uh, if I wasn't optimistic, it, I'd already be gone. We've been here for uh, 70 years, and uh, you know I don't want to have to change. I can change, but I, I just as soon stay in the dairy business. Sure, if we can't make it, and if we can't pay ourselves decent wages, then we should go do something else. And if the price of milk stays down, that will probably happen. We'll have to find something else to do. Dwayne Clymer says he's trying to keep his business afloat. He says he hopes to make it through the summer. Negotiations for relocating Elitch's amusement park are in the final stages. The 101-year-old park in northwest Denver's cramped for space. Owners want to move to a new site in the Platte River Valley. The land purchase is expected to wrap up next week. The sale price is reportedly in the $5 million range. Still ahead on 9 News, kids scramble for eggs at Fitzsimmons this morning. What you eat could affect how you feel. We'll have more on that in our 9 Family Healthcast. And we'll celebrate the joys of welcoming home loved ones who served in the Persian Gulf. It's morning and another day. There are kids to get dressed, breakfast to be made. But for a few moments, you have a little time to think of what this is all about. What it's about is big people helping little people to be big themselves one day. It's not easy. But what else could you possibly do that could ever be so important? MJB wishes you a good morning and a wonderful day. Quality. It isn't something that just happens. It's the product of experience. Throughout the real estate industry, one name stands for experience. Remax. Our sales associates average nearly 10 years of experience, some more than 30. So before you buy or sell a home, remember the quality that comes only from experience. Choose Remax. Sinus pain, sinus pressure, it really, really hurts. Sinutab combines Tylenol's painkiller with Sudafed's decongestant to work better than either one alone. It stops the pain. Sinutab stops sinus pain. We bake pearls made of denture material in this blueberry pie to prove how powerfully Efferdent, America's leading denture cleanser, removes this tough stain, even in between. Efferdent, stronger than stains. It's the best time ever to get a Mazda 4x4. The value of a Mazda can't be beaten. Get an SE5 4x4 now and save big on a Mazda value pack. Plus, get $500 cash back from Mazda. It's one of our best deals ever, but it won't last forever. Right time, right truck, right deal. At Rotola, Boulder, Monarch, Pro, Richards, Longmont, and Gateway Mazda, now. Pilots and fraternity members are flying more than 10,000 pounds of food to small communities around the state. Members of the Alpha Eta Row Fraternity and the Colorado Pilots Association took part in what they call the annual Easter food lift to benefit the needy and the homeless today. We figure everybody has food drives for people around the Denver area, but the smaller communities that also have people that are having problems, they need help too. So since we're an aviation fraternity, we might as well help them out by flying it out to them. The pilots say they're happy to help. They enjoy using their private planes for a good cause. Today was a day for Easter egg hunts, and one of the most enthusiastic in the area was at the Fitzsimmons Army Medical Center. Dozens of youngsters scrambled to grab as many eggs as they could, and speaking of scrambled, that's what happened to a lot of the eggs as the throng of excited youngsters surged forward. He's a squishy one. The most prized possessions of the day, however, weren't the real eggs. They were plastic ones. The kids were able to trade the plastic eggs in for chocolate bunnies. 
President Bush is taking an Easter break. He leaves tomorrow for a fishing vacation in Florida. Vice President and Mrs. Quayle will fill in for the President Monday at the White House Easter egg roll. Hundreds of children and visitors will join them for the traditional celebration. Easter services are scheduled at hundreds of churches across the Denver area tomorrow morning. One of the largest will be at Fiddler's Green in Arapahoe County, and workmen spent the day getting ready for the service. Last year, 10,000 people showed up. It's sponsored by Cherry Hills Community Church and is scheduled to begin at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, perhaps the most famous service locally is the one at Red Rocks Amphitheater. It begins at dawn tomorrow. That's at 546, we are told. But it's best to get there early because the service is usually very well attended. An unusual display at the Denver Botanic Gardens. Prickly plants in different shapes and sizes. The show is sponsored by the Colorado Cactus and Succulent Society. They displayed hundreds of cactus blooms, some with very beautiful blooms. Just because they're so unique looking, you can get a variety of different shapes and colors and sizes and uh, easy to take care of. You don't have to water them very often. Cactus plants are great for conserving water. They don't require much care either. Mm, the right plant for me. Jimmy Buffett will play at Fiddler's Green on June 18th. The tickets are still available. The people lined up early this morning anyway with their friends and their breakfast to get good seats. Fiddler's Green uses the random number procedure to stop people from camping out in ticket lines. Here's how the system works. At 9 a.m., everyone draws a number from a hat and lines up according to their number. Anyone arriving after the drawing must wait until everyone with a number has been served. I got 99, I guess. Oh, Waiting in line paid off. <laughs> you got 93? Right. We'll trade around and see what we can do with this. Okay. Fiddler's Green officials say most people like the system. There's no reward for arriving early and a penalty for arriving late. Trading numbers isn't allowed. If they catch you, your number won't be honored. Coming up next, a look at the sweet science as pro boxing comes to Denver. Charlie, the Johnsons are having something delivered. Mm-hmm. It's a new air conditioner. That's nice, dear. What system's so great, they'd buy it this early? Must be a Lennox. Hmm. Boulder Metal Products has been providing quality installation and service since 1949. Call us today for a free estimate. Get the team of professionals you can trust. Call North Glen Heating and Air Conditioning, serving the Denver metro area's residential and commercial needs. Now get cash back or 0% financing. It isn't every day you get offered something for nothing. But at Farmers Insurance, we offer every day a free analysis of your insurance needs. Now, if other companies were to offer this, they'd no doubt call it by a fancy and impressive name. But we simply call it the Farmer's Friendly Review. Because that's what it's all about. And this is what we're all about. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. For the last three years, I've been traveling all over this country, speaking to students about taking control of their lives. And there are a lot of factors out there today affecting America's youth, from dropping out to drugging out to teen pregnancy to violence to gangs. And all of those things can be nothing more than impediments to your success. If you want to know how to make a difference in your life and turn your life around, Join me, April 8th, right here on Channel 9. Montel Williams delivers his inspirational message live from South High School at 10 a.m. and again at 7 p.m., April 8th, on Channel 9. Mm, honey, we're talking grounds for divorce. It's so bad, you can taste it. Mm. The sticky, pasty film inside your mouth. It's pretty bad. Ugh. You wake up with every morning of your life. Mm. Morning breath. I'll be right back. Fight morning breath with scope. Antiseptic Scope kills on contact 90% of the bacteria that cause morning breath. Come and get it. I'm all yours. Fuck her up, sweetie pie. Antiseptic Scope. It's the best thing first thing in the morning. Your kiss is ready. Usually we get to box on, uh, to bet on the boxing matches that take place elsewhere. Yeah, but uh, here we get to, well, we don't get to bet on this. That's illegal. You'd have to go to uh, Las well, Vegas. Well, uh, maybe to do a that. small. Did we just discover something about you? A dark side <laughs> to Sylvia? Only nickels. Yeah, okay. Wooden nickels. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about a little bit of pugilism. Professional boxing returns to Denver next Saturday night. A five-bout card at the Regency Hotel. Two of Denver's top boxers head the card. Donnie Jerome Young pros. There's no place like home. You got that home court advantage, you know. Just like basketball, anything, you got that, you know, the, the crowds behind you all the time, you know what I mean? 
so it helps out a lot. And that's still important to Donny Giron, even though he's already had 16 pro fights. He's preparing for a bout with Efren Brown, a boxer from Indiana he really doesn't know a whole lot about. He did spar him once, but Donnie was a different fighter then. I used to be a brawler. I used to be when I was an amateur. Then I started getting hit a little bit harder. <laughs> I said, no more. It's time to learn how to box. So, I, you know, I could do a little bit of both. For Earl Jackson, just having a guy like Donnie around is a big advantage. He supports me, you know. <laughs> Show me little dibs and dabs here, and little jibs and jabs here, and just keep me up, you know, keep me going, keep me pressured, keep me pushing, keep my mind working. <laughs> Earl is unbeaten in six pro fights, so he's not lacking in confidence. He's still eager, though, to prove he's gotten better with every fight. I'm the new generation. I want to bring on a new breed of boxing, a new breed of technique, a new breed of just, you know, not just brawling, but boxing, but boxing with power and finesse and to the point, and direct and take them out. <laughs> and taking them out in Denver will make it all the sweeter. Kevin Cork, Nine Sports. And Earl and Donnie and the rest of the fighters will go at it at 7 o'clock next Saturday night at the Regency out on I-25. Tickets are 15 bucks. If you'd like to call for more information, call 295-1267. That's 295-1267 for more information on next Saturday night's fights at the Regency. I don't know, 25. Betting is not allowed. It's illegal. And uh, who do you like uh, next Saturday night? <laughs> I, I, I know very little about boxing, so I'm not going to lay my... Uh... It's, it, I'm not going to say. It's okay. We'll just wait and see how it goes. I think people believe you. I think, you know, it was just a slip of the tongue, and people believe you don't bet on boxing. Thank you, Tom. Okay. And will you have something a little bit later? Coming up, we're going to talk about boxing, kind of a downer today. Sugar Ray Leonard admitted to a history of drug and alcohol abuse. We're going to hear about that, as well as all the rest of today's sports in just a couple minutes. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Sure. Amy Haston will be here in just a moment with a forecast for Easter. But first, a salute to the sun. Stay with us. Education gives you the tools you need to enter the game of life. But without a high school education, you're always going to be on the wrong side of the fence, crying out for acceptance by giving in to temptations. If you have an opportunity to be cool and stay in school, take the ball and run with it. A high school education gets you into the game. Hey, I'm cool. I'm in school. The 51st edition of Ice Capades is coming to McNichols Sports Arena Tuesday, April 9th through Sunday, April 14th. Register at all Blockbuster video locations for your chance to win tickets to see the world's greatest skaters, as well as the live tour of television's favorite family, The Simpsons. And Barbie is back by popular demand. Don't miss all the family fun and excitement of Ice Capades, April 9th through April 14th at McNichols Arena. Register for Ice Capades tickets at all Blockbuster video locations. It's time to kick up your heels. The Nine Country Music Series is in high gear, bringing you the best in country music live at the Grizzly Roads. April 9th and 10th at 8 p.m. Don't miss the sassy sounds of country's great Tanya Tucker. Tickets available at Ticketmaster or the Grizzly Rose. The very best in country music is brought to you by Channel 9 and the Nine Country Music Series, now performing live at the Grizzly Rose. Tonight. I didn't say you were a dummy! The likes disability. I don't do business with him. Freaks. Make him an outcast. I... The young riders. Then. <laughs> the event that pulled a nation together. We have an 18-month-old child falling down a water well. Please don't let my baby die. Everybody's baby. The rescue of Jessica McClure. Tomorrow, hundreds of people will attend Easter Sunday sunrise services at Red Rocks. Robert Rodale wrote about how getting up a few minutes early to watch the sunrise can regenerate your life. Linda Benzel and photographer John Kurt put pictures to his words.
get up early tomorrow if you can and watch the sun slip timidly above the horizon. recommend this to all those who think that watching a sunrise is pointless, corny, or time-consuming. Give it a try. If you're like me, the sunrise experience will seem extra large. of renewal and a fresh start. You may step away with an enthusiasm and stamina you wouldn't otherwise have. It's a spectacular service up there at Red Rocks. 5.46 tomorrow morning is That's when it gets right. started. Yeah. And it should be a fairly nice day for it. Mostly clear skies statewide. Nice. Might be a little bit nippy. Temperatures mm -hmm. in the mid-30s probably. But then by tomorrow afternoon, you can shed the jacket. And it's going to be a great Easter Sunday. Fantastic. You're going to love it. And today was a great day statewide. It was gorgeous. It we, really was. Yeah, it really was. We have a great picture to show you of the mountains. Lots of sunshine and some fresh snow up there. Lots of happy skiers mm -hmm. for today. Our high day in Denver. 54 degrees, our low this morning, 24 degrees. We're right where we should be for this time of year. Right now at Stapleton, we have 52 degrees. Our relative humidity is 22%. Air pressure is on the way up at 30.16 inches of mercury, and our winds are from the east at 7 miles per hour. Now, temperatures at the top of the hour around the state range, basically from the low 40s to the upper 50s, 45 degrees right now in Craig, 53 in Grand Junction, 51 in Montrose, 42 degrees in Gunnison, 49 in Colorado Springs, 50 in Pueblo with 49 at Trinidad, and 52 degrees right now in Akron. Our satellite view is showing basically clear skies over the western third of the country this evening. We do have some clouds popping up, though, over portions of New Mexico and Texas. That's where that storm system that moved through Colorado in the last 24 hours has ended up. As we had national radar today, you can see they're getting some light rain and some snow mixed moving in from eastern uh, New Mexico into west Texas from about about Odessa on up to just north of Amarillo. We also have a storm system over the northern plains producing some light rain and snow mixed in through the Dakotas, portions of Minnesota as well. And we have a cold th front moving through Florida producing lots of thunderstorm activity there at this hour. Let's take you back 20 hours now, show you some satellite images from the last day or so. You can see how that spring storm system that moved from the north down through Colorado, move very quickly to the south. We've color enhanced the tops of the clouds to show you the coldest cloud tops there in blue. And notice how they kind of fizzle out as they move into New Mexico and Texas. That means that the storm has uh, actually weakened quite a bit as it's tracked to the south of us. We also have this large area of clear skies to the west of us. And that indicates that we're going to have some very nice conditions in Colorado for the next several days. Let's go back to the surface map now and you can see why with our current surface features there, high pressure over the northwestern U.S. That's going to keep us clear in Colorado, it looks like, at least through Monday before this next batch of moisture over the west coast moves our way. For tomorrow, though, clear skies in Colorado, and we should see that low moving on shore into western and central sections of California, producing some wet conditions for them. Also tomorrow, some snow over the Great Lakes with some rain in through portions of southeast Texas 
and Louisiana. There are also some rain and thunderstorms mixed in through most of Florida. Tomorrow's highs around the nation, a very nice day overall. Look at these 60 degree readings extending all the way up to Seattle, Washington, and into portions of Montana, that large ridge of high pressure producing lots of sunshine. And that's going to make those temperatures warm very nicely. We'll see 70s and 80s throughout the southwestern U.S., 80s especially down around Tucson and Yuma, Arizona, the 70s down around Brownsville, Texas, 70s and 80s through South Florida, 50s through the nation's uh, heartland there with 40s across the Great Lakes, and we'll reserve those colder temperatures for the northeastern U.S. Our forecast for nine country for tomorrow is calling for a beautiful Easter Sunday overall. Clear skies, sunny conditions. We'll see mid-50s to mid-60s over the Front Range and through the Plains for tomorrow with even a few 70-degree readings right here in the southeastern section of the state. Upper 40s to low 50s through the high country with mid-50s to low 60s over the west slope. Denver's forecast for tonight calling for clear skies and a low of 30 degrees for tomorrow like we said sunrise at 546 in the morning by the afternoon hours sunny and warmer at a high of 65 degrees for t for Monday sunny skies and a high of 67 and then by Tuesday that chance for showers moves in from the west coast Wednesday and Thursday partly sunny skies temperatures right where we should be for this time of year award all right thank you very much Amy Sylvia a very spring-like forecast and although spring is here it's never too late to winterize your home for next year. Here are some tips for keeping your house warm without spending a fortune. Start by choosing the one room you spend the most time in and making it safe. Put plastic over the windows and seal the doors so that one room stays warm. Don't waste water from a dripping faucet when you can buy relatively cheap foam insulation or heat tape. And while you're wrapping, don't forget to wrap your hot water heater. And if you have south-facing windows in your home, draw the curtains or raise the blinds during the day to let the sun in. No cost, non-polluting heat. Now concerning that fireplace, you can lose more heat than it'll give you right up the flue. When you're not using the fireplace, fill a bag with insulation and jam the bag into the fire box up against the flue. That way you cut off your heat loss. Coming up tomorrow, or rather, coming up in our Nine Family HealthCast, we will tell you about a strange condition that leaves head injury patients with a foreign accent. Pressed, polished, rehearsed. It's an encore season of the very best of Broadway. The music, the drama, the comedy are all waiting for you right this way. April 9th through the 14th, get ready for Broadway's biggest musical. Set in 1928 Berlin, Grand Hotel. Tommy Toon's Tony Award-winning tale of power and poverty. Charge your tickets now by calling 893-4100. The Best of Broadway, proudly presented to you by Robert Gardner Center Attractions and Channel 9. Thank you. For years now, we've been on television to inform and educate you about your rights as an accident victim. We've talked to you about our free initial consultation, about how we don't collect attorney's fees until we recover money for you. We've also kept you informed about changes in the law that may affect you. We helped accident victims yesterday. We're helping some today, and we'll be here tomorrow if you need our help. Norton Fricky and Associates. We help accident victims. Call 59-LEGAL for your free initial consultation. Feeling your best throughout your lifetime is something we all can achieve. Hi, I'm Pam Page, business manager for Weight Watchers of the Rocky Mountains, a proud sponsor of the Nine Health Fair. With over 60 locations and 231 meetings each week, Weight Watchers has been helping people improve their lives through healthy lifestyle changes for over 27 years. Weight Watchers encourages all of you to take charge of your health and attend the Nine Health Fair April 6th through the 14th. Number one, the biggest, best one anywhere. An unlimited sale beyond compare. Only at Casey Fine Furniture. Two, for two days only, everything from Casey's Warehouse.